So, Xenogunner is kind of an interesting title. It's mostly boss rushes. I don't know what this is. Alright. Uh, so, there's two different playable characters. Uh, one of which is the kind of more traditional uh, gun combat character. And the other is this... Oh, okay. Uh, this more like sword-based uh, short-range character. And there's small levels in between the boss battles, but the, the majority of the game is these boss battles, uh, which is cool. Um, I, I like this one because... Sorry, it's, it's hard to focus. It's kind of challenging. Um, I like this one because it actually has the, you know, full 360 degree aiming for everything, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, I got a thing for not dying. Um, so yeah, it actually like lets you, you know, move all the way around, which is cool. I don't totally understand this character either. I used the, uh, the gun one last time, and I'm a little confused by how this works. But anyway, yeah, you have basic, you know, platformer controls, double jump, dash... And then, like I said, your main, you know, your main attack, which in this case is like a kind of a sword thing. Oh, I think those are like collectibles. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, they modify. Oh, neat. Okay. So they just like modify your, uh, your slash attack and turns it into a projectile. That's cool. The other character just has like multiple different... Uh, different attacks. I'll show you him in a little bit. But I wanted to switch it up for my own sake, because in my test I tried the other character already. But yeah, it's a little simpler than, you know, your your average uh, Mega Man game. But it's also kind of neat. Um, like I said, it is just small levels with boss battles in between. But those boss battles are a little more challenging than... Oof. What's in other games? You really have to pay attention to your jumps and your dashes and stuff, which I'm not, obviously. Ah! It's all so quick! Nope! Ooh, nice. Nope! Back off. Nope! Okay. So yeah, it's, it's really just kind of- it's meant for speedrunners and stuff. Like, there's actually- crap. There's actually an option where you don't have to have any of the cutscenes or anything. Uh, I want to escape out of here. I want to switch over to the other character real quick. Okay. So yeah, your other character is called Zeta. Uh, I was playing as, as Delta. So yeah, the, the b same basic controls. You still jump, double jump, dash. But, like, your default attack is a ranged weapon. It's quite a bit weaker. Um, I think I actually like Delta more, but, you know, I also like Zero, so it's not surprising. Uh, but you actually have some different weapons you can do with this guy. Girl, I'm not sure. I shouldn't gender him, sorry. Whoop. And I think more max health, too. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the, the attacks are weaker, but have a bit more variety to them. Up, 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 up! Dang it. Alright. But you literally just, like, hold the directional pad. Or hold the directional stick, I should say. Uh, to do your attacks. Let's switch it up. Um, some of them do damage over time, which is kind of nice. But are slower. There's some really strong ones. So there's some, you know, some nice variety to the attacks. But yeah, there's no, like you know, shot button or anything. You just hold the direction and it automatically shoots out the amount of bullets that you have for that weapon. And like this one is kind of a boomerang effect. So it's neat to like bring hearts and stuff back to you. Uh, I tend to, to stick with the ice because I think it's the most effective just for, you know, knocking out all these random little enemies and stuff. There we go, that's a little better. Because it actually does some damage over time while I'm running away. Yep. 
Ah. The trickiest thing about this game is the controls are all like the, the shoulder buttons. So it's left shoulder to jump and right shoulder to dash. And then like I said, you hold the um, the stick in a direction to shoot. But you change up your weapon type with the face buttons. So it's just, it's a weird control scheme. It works, honestly, um, but it's hard to get used to. I'll try this one more time and then we'll move on, because uh, I have shown enough of this. You kind of get the idea. Definitely going to lose this one. Look at my health. Yep. Crap. Yeah! Dang it, I keep jumping instead of dashing. Okay. Uh, can I do it? Can I do it? Probably not. Nope. Alright. Yeah, we're done. But yeah, that's this one. Let's switch over to a different game. So this game is really cool. It's got a great art style, as you can probably see already. Some nicely customized, or some nicely animated, I should say. Uh, kind of like hand-drawn pixel sprites. Um, it looks like a Flash game in a good way. Like that, you know, that kind of consistent, like, almost uh, animated cartoon style. It doesn't look like sprites. And everyone's just got a really cool personality. Um, they're all very distinct characters. I don't know, there's a lot to like here. Um, I'm gonna skip through a lot of his early stuff because it is just like dialogue back and forth. But essentially this is kind of like the last one where it's almost like a Mega Man type game. Uh, but it's a lot more like level kind of uh, uh, like platforming focused. Rather than just being like small levels between boss rush type mechanics. Uh, and as the title states, Double Crossed, it's also got some interesting like uh, detective mechanics to it. We have to pair different uh, pieces of evidence to different characters to try to like come together with a, uh, with a detective's case against a certain thing. So like the levels you go to in, you know, Mega Man fashion... You're actually going there to, like, gather evidence rather than just beat a boss. And I think that's a really cool wrinkle. But yeah, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here and actually show some, you know, proper gameplay. Um, and not just these characters talking. Oh, but first I'm going to show this <laughs> terrifying plant guy uh, named Sprout Iron Bulk. Because he is great. I love him. I want him to give me a plant hug. Alright, so I like this kind of cool, like, um... Uh, attack the targets thing that you know kind of reminds me of Smash Bros because it does it does a good job at showing you the mechanics and stuff too but it's also just really fun uh, the game is super smooth like it plays very comfortably oops dang it why am I bad at this there we go And the really cool mechanic is right here, where you actually, like, you have the ability to uh, grab, grab onto things and pull yourself forward. It goes in the direction that it's pointing. Yeah. 
which is really satisfying. It's kind of like the, the grapple hook from uh, Super Metroid, but it works better. It's like mix, mix between the grappling hook and the like magnet sling mechanic from uh, Castlevania. Is that Order of Ecclesia? One of the DS games, I don't remember. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it. Yoink. Yoink. And you can also use it to grab things. Boop. Wow, I'm not very good at it, apparently. And you can heal yourself, which is kind of nice. It uses a certain amount of meter, but... As you fill your meter, you can continue charging yourself, or healing yourself. And there we go. So there's a lot of solid mechanics here. Uh, oh, this is also one of my favorite things. Because... Dodge roll! Aerial dodge roll! Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. It really plays into the platforming when you could like, just start jumping, aerial dodge roll, grab a, a slang thing, shoot your way up. It's got some satisfying progression. And here's Pint Guy again. So buff. Please, train me, Plant Daddy. <clears throat> this is... This is awkward. I can see your stamen. Alright, first proper, like, level test. Uh, I already, you know, I already ran this, obviously. Because I practiced this game! Wow, that's a bad time to say I've already done this. Yep. It can be tricky, because, like, you have to actually grab at the right time. Sometimes these jumps can be hard to hit when you're in midair. Yep. But you can always ball jump too, which helps. Spia. And ball jump. How deep do these tunnels go? Uh, this also kind of reminds me a little bit, like art style, art style wise, it reminds me a little bit of 20XX, which I kind of like. I think this looks better than that does, and I like that it's not, you know, procedurally generated. But 20XX is... What? 20XX is another really good game, if you want to... Good grief. If you want to check it out sometime. I've actually got some videos on it. I know I shouldn't be shamelessly promoting my other stuff right now. But it was, you know, it came up naturally in conversation. Yep. Ooh, nice. Nailed it. And flip. Ow, you dick. I rolled. What are you talking about? Alright. Anywho. Then this cool dinosaur guy is going to attack me. Rar! I'm a big scary dinosaur. I don't know. That was stupid. I should probably just show off these games commentary free. Let you see them without me ruining it. But, also I got to punch a dinosaur in the face. Why wouldn't you want to play this game? And then... Ooh, big spooky Sigma guy. Looks like Sigma, right? Kinda? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who that is. So these various things that I just grabbed, we'll have to take to someone and try to piece the case together by pairing each of those items with a person. And find out who double-crossed us. He said the thing! So yeah, that's kind of what this is talking about. Okay. So you talk to different people. Uh, I think it's that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. 
like that you kind of get a feel for who like each each thing would be good with um because like this is the kind of the tech nerd so of course you give him the wrench and he gives you the information he knows which helps you with the case also sam squatch is a great name i love the character designs in this it's really cool it's got a lot of style the thunderdome and each of these places uh, that they talk about, like that these things came from, are the levels you'll go to. Which is pretty cool. It kind of gives you like a personal connection to the levels you're exploring. Um, Mega Man X kind of tried to do that, and Mega Man Zero especially. But I, I like the way that you're kind of like actually involved in the process of like why you're going to these places, instead of just being told why you're going to these places. So, uh, let's do the Thunderdome. That sounds kind of cool. Agent Pineapple has information about Hancho's illegal activities. Find him and learn what evidence he has against Hancho. Alright. Bright neon lights, music, and possibly tall buildings. All kinds of fun. This city is great. I'm not going to read all this, but... Ooh, this is a nice style. This is new to me now. So I just kind of wanted to get a feel for like what it looks like, but I really like the the art in this place. What are you doing? Yeah, Agent Pineapple. That's great. Master of Disguise. Wow. He's so cute! Punch. Yeah. Okay, that's neat. They like, drop projectiles for you to throw. I like that. Here, I'm gonna do... A special thing. Because I keep forgetting I have them. Alright, I don't actually know if they will ever stop attacking me. Oh wait, do I have to hit it when the lights are on? Oh, okay. Smart. Wicked smart. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. That was neat. I know it shouldn't be like that exciting, but it was. I don't know. Don't judge me. Wow. Alright, I probably need to stop playing this soon so I can get this video out. But I really like this. It's super cool. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I'm just gonna run around for a little bit during this outro. But please check these games out. Uh, as I've been mentioning, it's currently part of the uh, racial racial justice bundle on itch.io. If it's not, when you read when you watch this, get the games anyway. They're super good. What? What? But uh, oh crap! But until next time, enjoy some indie games, specifically these. But you know, any indie games you want to support. Also, we need more love for them. And stay safe out there. Be kind to one another. There's enough hate in the world.